What is up, captains and cadets? What did you guys think of that video today? Oh my gosh. If you haven't seen it yet, go to Star Atlas's YouTube page. It's there. Or you can go to their Twitter X page. It's right there. Watch it. Check it out. Then come back to this video and let's watch it together. Gosh, I love it. Let's go. All right, man, so you guys went and watched the video, so I'm not going to ruin anything for you. Let's watch the thing together, baby. Ah! Woo! Just right at the beginning, the way Star Atlas comes out. Man, this gets me pumped. Woo! All right, let's do this. There's our mud. There's our boy Oni. Love the weight distribution as the, as the bikers go back and forth on their bikes. There's a... The way the, the gravity and the wind of those Oni tentacles. Love the love the stare. Ready? That stare on the Oni right here. Look at his eyes. Ah! Oh, just like the subtle motion blur that they have on this. Unreal Engine is nuts. Dude, when I'm... I, I play like an old man. I'm an old man. I play like an old man. So when I'm racing, I'm always doing this. And this game's going to have me being like, whoa, leaning all over the place. Look at the pink glasses right here on this Oni. The pink and blue. Super cool. His tentacles are, oh. All right, so the different helmets. We have Calico Pierce. And then there's another one, Quadro. Quadro. What's Quadro? I love, I like this one right here with the, uh, it's kind of fading out. Let me go back for a sec. That one's pretty cool. Oh, I just missed it. I like this one though, too. But that one with the stars that was before the thimble. America right here. America. There's another more quadros. The orange pierce. This one looks really cool. The one with the yellow. Let me go back for a sec. I like that one right there. I wish I could see the back. Really like that color scheme. Black Calico, the pierces that kind of match our Pierce. Oh, Pierce X6. Well, look at this Opal Jet Jet. Do you not love this blue with the purple? Oh, and that yellow. The yellow definitely pops, but the candy red that's coming up right here. Ooh, with that subtle pink just shimmer. Man, and then the in there's the black on black, which I thought I was going to be a fan of, but with all this Unreal Engine color and shine, my eyes are just going to, like, like this blue right here is sweet. That's one of the blue, but this is the one. This blue right here is different. See how it has the, the white on the hood at the beginning, and then it's got this, this interior. Look at the grip right here. Look at just the little subtle detail on the, on the grip on the steering wheel. My God, you can really see it here in the yellow, like all that little detail. And I love the opal with the, you know, like almost like LED lights, uh, giving an accent to the, the name of the, uh, the, f the fabricator of this, this jet jet. Now we're going to go for the stitching. Look at how that pop and almost looks like a little chrome detail on the seat. Maybe it's a white, maybe it's like a little white band, white bead that goes around. And look at the inside, look at when it goes to the red, look at the stitching right there. And look at that little, uh, little blue detail on the inside of the door. Now we have different weapons from different manufacturers being placed on this. I can't tell what this is. I thought it was a Pierce X6, like the inside of the Pierce X6, uh, two guns that come out. Here's the Pierce X4. There's a fin some Fimble weapons on a Pierce model. That looks almost like a Busan weapons. And then look at these platforms right here. Are we going to be able to go in these platforms like thousands of us? Thanks to Metagravity, just thousands of us and cheer on the races of our friends. Our friends from Discord, our friends we made on Twitter X, our friends, uh, other guild members. If we're in guilds, like we can, we can cheer on our teammates. Look at the platform right here. See, we can all be up there like, woo! God, Star Atlas killing it with this Unreal Engine. Love it! So obviously, 
Danny, who's heading up the Unreal Engine 5 department, is absolutely killing it over there with his team. Love everything I'm seeing. I cannot wait. I got a glimpse of that video when it came out during the Play GG event and Michael Wagner was doing his presentation, but all we really got was some phone footage of it. So it's so cool to see it in some crisp, clear 4K footage. Um, hopefully, uh, Chipto is also killing it on the Sage Labs front. I'm super excited about that. And speaking about Chipto, I just want to talk about something really quick. Well, the Sage Labs so close to being released any day now. Hopefully within, like, at least within the next 10 days, maybe even by the end of the week. Who knows? Nobody knows. But with it being released so fast, all of a sudden, all this information is starting to spill on our laps. It's coming out of the woodwork. It's coming out of Discord. It's coming out of Twitter X. It's coming all over the place. First, I, I, I did my Fleets video, um, on, I think on Friday, on Saturday, all of a sudden, Romega releases his chatter and he saw some stuff on Discord that kind of nullified some of the things that I, I had I put together with my fleets and then all of a sudden um, leaks. I'm sure most of you guys out there um, in Star Atlas land that are big fans follow leaks. He all of a sudden had dug up some information on the ships, which was kind of counterintuitive to what I was thinking about when I was putting together my fleets. And then finally today, Chipto, who's the head of the, the Sage department, he's doing Sage Labs and he's going to be doing the upcoming Sage Wreck and on and on. He wrote today, happy Tuesday, everyone getting closer to the sage labs launch enjoy the sneak peek and theory craft to your maiden heart's content so you can find this on my twitter page you can also find it on on chipto's own personal twitter x page or you can go to the star atlas page because they retweeted it themselves but if you click on this you're going to be able to find a spreadsheet with stats upon stats upon stats there's all sorts of crazy goodness on here and what's really what's really funny is like uh i was looking at um my medium ships thinking they're they have the fastest sub warp and if we go to l right here that's sub warp um, and so I was, I was looking at some of my small ships when I was building my fleet and I saw that they had like the same sub warp speed as the medium ships because they had a medium sized sub warp engine in a small class ship. But one of the examples was the Rainbow Chi. If we come on over to L, it's a 0 .0067 um, sub warp speed, 0 .0067 sub warp speed. And I was trying to pair it, pair it up with my Fimble Mamba, for instance, which was a medium ship. And if we go to the L. The Fimble Mamba is slow as heck, man. It's 0 0.0044 compared to the 0 0.0067 is the Rainbow Cheese. So the Rainbow Cheese is way faster. So I'm going to have to rework some of these stats and try to figure things out and put together my fleet again. I'm going to have to release another video. So I'm sorry about, you know, that if anyone was copycatting me, I'm, ho I'm hoping that you guys were all doing kind of your own research and, and you know, you've been paying attention to yourselves. Um, but thank you guys all for viewing my video. I'm going to have to redo it all. Let's go back to Twitter X. So if I get a chance to do it in the next day or two, I'm going to start to pour some thought and information into um, Afia Industries Nancy that they have. And Nancy's awesome. I know it's uh, it's head up by one of their Afia's guild members, Kenny. Kenny's doing a killer job on always putting all these spreadsheets together. And if you go to my Twitter page again, I reposted Afia Industries tweet right here. Um, they have an awesome little thread where they talk about how you can, um, for signing up to Nancy, it's free. I've done it myself. They don't take any information. They haven't spammed me with anything. It's been super cool ever since I signed up. But if you plug in, um, if you grab Nancy, you're able to plug in um, your fleet. And I believe they, it looks like what they have is all those stats already plugged into the, their own personal spreadsheet. So. It should be able to maybe you can play with your fleets and see what uh, what spits out. Um, here's a a screenshot from what they're saying. So it has fuel capacity, ammo uh, ammo capacity goes all the way down to mining, mini sub warp speed, warp speed, all that. And so you can see over here, these are just basically examples that they put. This is Kenny's test fleet number one, number two. Um, you know, all peer ships that Kenny has, um, fleet one, fleet two. So he was obviously playing around with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to I'm going to start doing that and I'll let you guys know what I come up with. Um, if you guys want to play with that, too, like I said, this is on my Twitter page. You can um, find it there. Or you can go to Afia Industries Twitter X page and find this link all right there. Um, again, thank you, Kenny, for putting hope. I, I believe it's it's usually you that puts this all together. You do awesome, awesome work and you're one of my Star Atlas idols for sure. But anyway, guys, this was short and sweet. I hope you enjoy. I love you all. I am beyond the horizon. I've been super busy lately. I had multiple concerts i saw a bunch of awesome reggae shows i saw some sublime with rome i saw all sorts of stuff my son 
also was in a fair for three days. He won all sorts of ribbons showing off his guinea pigs as a 4-H adventure, which 4-H is an agricultural thing we do here in uh, the United States. If you guys are watching this from a different country. Again, I'm Beyond the Horizon. Please subscribe. I love you all. I'll make a video very shortly. Bye. <laughs>